another video here um uh, as i my my numbers are bad i am more sure of my numbers when it comes to dash and i also added zach zcash and that gives a little uh, a different perspective for me at least i do all this this whole exercise because i'm concerned about the amount of transactions for a uh, bitcoin cash uh it dropped uh, the most in price but it also dropped the most in amount of transactions and and, and i find it concerning uh that it dropped so much especially when you look at bitcoin that has seen a, a rise in amount of transactions here it it it, it went it steep down uh, from the peak here in the bubble uh, in december 2017 it dropped a lot the first few months uh, the first uh, january uh, february uh, it dropped a lot uh, from, uh, from 280k uh, from 350k to 180k but since then now it's at 280k the blue line here uh, so it has gone up a lot uh, the past year uh, even during bear market is very good uh, and the same actually for dash uh, that also dropped here at the peak that's the purple one it dropped a lot but then since then yeah actually dash also has gone down here a lot uh, during the bear market but it has picked up a lot um, uh, recently uh but uh, with, uh, with with bitcoin cash for example it dropped also a lot the first few months then it went up but then during during the split uh with bsv uh it, it went down a lot let me put my baby here maybe she will like that better eh? huh um and uh and 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 and, and so um, I'm concerned about the steep drop in the red line is Bitcoin Cash. It went from 40,000 transactions or so. It was doing very good during the bear market, but when the split happened, and of course, but of course, many are here test transactions also. So, but actually, since then, it really dropped steeply, and it's now at 8,000 transactions per day. Um, and uh, this was, of course, a snapshot of one day, but it's quite representative. Uh, that's less than, for example, Dash. Hmm? Uh, has right now but if you look at zcash uh, zcash actually had a similar drop uh, at the peak it was 12,000 now it's uh, 3,000 so actually it dropped equal to bitcoin cash in amount of transactions and that i find um, comforting uh, that bitcoin cash is not the only one to see such a steep drop uh, but of course i gotta give it to bitcoin cash here Sorry, Bitcoin BTC, as well as a Dash, that they are doing very well in the amount of transactions. And with Dash, I did some more research what happening there, uh, and, and and so uh, they have about uh, on that day eleven, but let's say about ten thousand transactions per day now. It's very good. It's very good. And in addition, it seems that the private transactions are not included, and um, that means that uh, it's more more. Uh, but nobody is giving me a decent answer from the Dash community, uh, so 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 I don't know. Uh, but it's possible that one moment. Whew. That's why I say the babies belong with the mom. Huh? Um, but uh, so uh, let's take a look here. Um, yeah, when it comes to Dash, uh, so so there are also three thousand uh, about three thousand private transactions that same day. So I don't know if you can add those or not. Uh, it's not clear. But if you would be able to add those, then you don't have like eleven thousand, but actually like fifteen thousand transactions that day, and that's even better than what's reported here. And now you have a drop of twenty percent, but. Uh, um, from the top to today, but actually, if it would be like not 11, but 15,000 transactions, then actually would have, even during a bear market, a rise that would be phenomenal. But I also noticed in Dash that they have this game, uh, Dash.rat, they call it. And, uh, and this game generates about 1,000 transactions per day today. Uh, but actually, the way it works is this is a free game and you can win Dash. Huh? And so it's sponsored or subsidized by uh the dash uh, treasury uh, and i think these kind of programs uh, do give a wrong impression of okay it's it's real transactions but it's subsidized transactions and, and so the moment 
uh, the subsidy stops, probably people will stop playing those games eh? because people play those games probably not because they are so much fun, but because they can actually make real money with it. Eh? So um, I don't think uh, I don't think that that's uh, that's uh, I, I think that skews the data a bit. But then on the other hand, maybe private transactions are not included. That skews it also. So. Uh, I think it can be fairly uh, said uh, that uh, Dash is doing very well in amount of transactions. But for me, like that doesn't convince me that for me personally, that, that, that doesn't convince me to invest in Dash instead of, for example, Bitcoin Cash, because I've had this discussion uh, several times uh, with the Dash uh, supporters. But yeah, for me, uh, it's not OK the way Dash was founded. Uh, there was an insta mine uh, the first day of during a couple of hours uh, a lot of coins were uh, issued uh, it was so-called an accident but if you look deeply into it you can see it's not an accident it was just the founder i want to give himself uh, coins uh, and, uh, and and but he was not courageous enough to call to to just uh, do a, how do you call that uh, like ethereum did a little bit later eh? have uh, just to reserve some coins for the development team. He didn't uh, dare to do that. So he instead did some kind of like uh, uh, in, an in, in, uh, it was supposed to be an accident. And But then later he made it even worse. Uh, so uh, later what they did is they reduced the amount of coins that would come in circulation. It used to be 40 million or so and then it went or, or 80 million. And then, well, that was like a half year later or a year later. And then they brought it down to only 20 million. And so the insta mine that where instantly a million coins or so were created uh, in a couple of hours um, uh, and that went very likely um, for the most part of uh, part to the founder uh, and maybe some people that were in the team. Uh, well, that re used to represent a pretty low amount, but then because they reduced the supply from 80 to 20 million, uh, the final supply that actually becomes a big amount. So they made it even worse later on with decisions and they're, then they're, the, the people that are supporting that you say, yeah, but there was a poll that uh, uh, Ivan Duffield did to to revert back that insta mine and the majority voted not to do it. Uh, uh, so it's OK, like no, this that may be OK for the majority of Dash uh, users, but it's not OK for me. Why not? I, I, I think it's very good. The founder has coins. That was never the issue for me. But the issue here for me is the hypocrisy around it. Uh, which is not good, like a founder and that's still elite uh, dev today. Um, but it doesn't matter, even if he would not be there anymore in a project. A project that started by a uh, uh, by by someone who is not uh, an honest figure, uh, for me, is a problem. Um, uh, yeah, it's a problem. Uh, I, I don't think. I don't think it's just not something I want to support and invest in. Um, and, and and so hypocrisy. Uh, to such an extent uh, where it, there's lying involved, uh, clear, clear, outright lying. Eh? You you uh, basically uh, say it's a bug, but it's not true. It was it was, in my opinion, uh, if you look at it, it was just uh, on purposely uh, done uh, 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 this uh, massive uh, issuance of uh, new coins the first few hours. Uh, if you look at all the different uh, things that happened, so so this is this this is lying, and and, and I will not invest in the founder. Uh, that's lying uh, to its, his investors, even if uh, they do a great job on uh, all the other fronts. And that can certainly be said about Dash. They do do a great job. Um, so, uh, yeah, uh, that's it. Uh, let's let's go over the, the final numbers here. Um, uh, I think uh, right now, today, uh, uh, Dash is indeed the cheapest uh, per transaction. Uh, but other than that, actually, all coins are valued quite equally uh, if you look at per transaction. And so for Bitcoin, yes, it has doing very well per transaction. But for me also, this does not, even though this is a great result that the amount of transactions going up for, for Bitcoin BTC, that's amazing. Eh? But uh, I, 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 this is not a project for me to invest in because... It doesn't matter if it goes back to 350 like it was here, the price per transaction will explode again. Uh, and sometimes it is already now uh, in busy times, it becomes very expensive again, like it's 20 cents and that they call cheap. That's not cheap. And so the standard transaction right now is 20 cents. That's already 
a lot, but the moment you reach these uh, uh, artificial limits again, uh, the block size limit of one megabyte, uh, and, and that can only hold like maybe 350,000 transactions, then like uh, the, the, the fee explodes again to, uh, as we've seen before, uh, it can go up to like uh, 10, it was even like $40 at one point or $20, it's crazy uh, per transaction. So this is going to happen again. So it doesn't for me really matter that Bitcoin is successful and doing very well with on-chain transactions because there is an artificial limit. And so sooner or later, this will be hit again and then the fees explode and, 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 and all users again go to the competition and stay with the competition. So there is like no growth potential here. And then people say like, yeah, but uh, you do have the off-chain transactions, the Lightning Network transactions, and that's also growing. And that's true, but um, that's not on-chain uh, transactions. It's a very different value proposition of chain transactions. Uh, you don't have um, the same kind of uh, no counterparty risk. Uh, uh, everything is uh, fully verifiable. Um, you don't need third parties like uh, this is a very different value proposition for which I'm not in cryptocurrency. I'm in cryptocurrency because I believe the on-chain, um, uh, the blockchain is a great innovation uh, that everything is verifiable and no counterparty risk. And, and so this is still offered by Bitcoin Cash. And, and so that's uh, why I uh, really uh, feel good about that project. Uh, but I have to admit the amount of transactions not doing well. But if you compare to other uh, coins like uh, Zek, for example, actually it also drops a lot in transactions. And this is normal during a bear market. Huh? Um, so, so I do think that this does not mean that that's not that's, that's, that sentence or a, a sign that uh, Bitcoin Cash is doing weak. I don't think so. I think it's more of a sign that actually Bitcoin BTC is doing well and Dash is doing well in amount of transactions. Huh? Uh, but uh, as a value investor, you want to look at this, uh, how much you pay per transaction, and then that is the cheapest, but the other ones cost about the same, actually, uh, towards each other. Um, and then uh, the other, uh, the other, um, the other uh, as a value investor, you want to look at that too. Amount of US, US dollars sent over the network. Um, you can see that actually Bitcoin Cash is the cheapest coin here. Uh, but... As with transactions, US dollar cent is easily uh, manipulatable, uh, manipulated, these numbers, you can easily send a lot of value over Bitcoin Cash and, uh, and that way um, uh, uh, make these numbers look much better than they are in reality. Uh, same with the amount of transactions, these, uh, the amount of transactions of Bitcoin, I think it's certainly possible these are manipulated. Eh? Uh, like, I, I don't understand why you have a gradual uh, rise in amount of Bitcoin transactions where that's coming from, but uh, I mean, it can be manipulated, but it can also be real. Uh, both are possible. I, I can't judge it. I haven't done the in-depth research, uh, and the same for Dash. Uh, but 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 uh, but 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 when it comes to value transactions, the same is is applicable to Bitcoin Cash. Even though it shows that it is the highest value coin, when you look at that metric, it could be manipulated and not true. Huh? But it's also valuable to see that okay, when it, uh, amount of transactions that is the cheapest cheapest amount of uh, value transported, Bitcoin Cash is the cheapest if you look at these metrics. And then median transaction value is the most important one because it's the most difficult to manipulate. And here you can see that um, median transaction value of Bitcoin, Bitcoin BTC has totally collapsed um, and, 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 and much more, or at least more than the others. Um, and if you then compare to the value of the net, the, uh, the market cap of these coins, uh, you can see, for example, that uh, yeah, Bitcoin is actually the most expensive coin um, and that cash the cheapest. Uh, but with Zcash, something weird happened here. Like the median transaction value has gone up a lot. Uh, maybe that's because, well, Zcash is not really used uh, as, a, as a medium of exchange yet. And so maybe the only transactions uh, happening there are value transactions from investors who, who invest or divest. And, and so they do large, tra uh, large transactions only. But uh, it has gone up a lot, uh, doubled the median uh, transaction value. And so that means that um, it's the best buy uh, from that perspective. Uh, with uh, Bitcoin has corrected the most, 
the, uh, the median value transaction is so 50% more uh, and 50% uh, like 50% of the transactions are a higher value and 50% of the transactions are a lower value. That's median transaction value. And, um, and, and so that used to be 5,000 US dollars, but now it's only hundred dollars for uh, Bitcoin BTC. Um, and, 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 uh, and, and, and so, yeah, uh, from that perspective, Bitcoin is today the most, uh, most, uh, most expensive coin. And uh, Bitcoin Cash and Dash are valued equally. Um, and Zek is the most valuable coin. That's it. Oh, uh, and then uh, some other information. I think what I also like to check is CoinFair Value, a great website. And um, here you can, they, they use uh, an algorithm with a lot of information included uh, to deduct like which is the, the, the cheapest coin looking at the amount of transactions they have on chain. Uh, but I think they use some other metrics too. Uh, the fee they ask per transaction. Uh, and then they come here at a ranking of which is the best buy. And you have uh, this uh, PE ratio, which is interesting. Um, uh, or they give fair value per coin and then the actual price per coin. And for example, PIVX is number three. Uh, the fair value, they think, is $6, but it's only $0.60 cents right now. Um, uh, Bitcoin Cash used to be also very highly quoted here, uh, but it has dropped a lot. Uh, I think that's, of course, because of the amount of transactions has collapsed. Uh, but Dash, for example, uh, is still at 10th place. Uh, they think the fair value is 350, whereas the actual value is 70. Um, and, and you can see that Bitcoin Cash is now on 20th place. It used to be on second place, so it dropped a lot. Fair value is 400, uh, according to them, and actual value is 100. So, so, but this this is interesting to verify for whatever coin you're interested in. Uh, how is it ranked when it comes to, uh, yeah, uh, the fair value? Um, but then I think the most important thing when you make decisions, investment decisions is, uh, or business decisions um, is, do you listen to your head, to your heart or to your gut? And, uh, and uh, yeah, I think that, um, uh, this article says that uh, we should check them both, but in the end, you should go with your gut. And I think that's true uh, because uh, the head will give you information, uh, important information. It's also true when you're dating someone or, or making important life decisions, uh, changing job. Uh, your head will tell you something. Your heart will tell you something and then your gut. And, and the head usually sees a lot of uh, valuable data um that's important and for me when it comes to bitcoin cash yeah the head says like mark be careful the amount of transactions collapse a lot some coins are doing a lot better uh be maybe you should actually not invest as much as you're planned to and uh and maybe you should invest in the other coins uh, but then my heart says no 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 i really like love bitcoin cash and um i really believe in its mission and uh and uh, I really want to make it happen. But of course, um, uh, the head is equally strong. It says then, yeah, but if you just look at ideology, ide ideology I, I love the ideology and the mission of Bitcoin Cash being an uh, uh, anarcho-capitalistic coin uh, that's really a voluntarist, uh, voluntaristic coin, like it really believes in, 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 in uh, no censorship and, 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 and uh, uh, and that's extremely important, I think. Uh, like that's the most powerful driver uh, is is the community and the and, and, and the values that it holds, uh, especially with a, with a cryptocurrency. Uh, with, with a company, it's about the founder and the value that he holds. But with a, with a cryptocurrency, I think uh, it's it's much more important as the community uh, that they have a shared a strong uh, vision, uh, uh, and, and so. Um, that's what my heart says that, uh, yes, Bitcoin Cash has this, that as one of the very few coins. And, uh, and, and so it's very important. That's why I want to invest in it. But then it also is my hat is equally strong saying, yeah, but uh, if you just follow like vision, also known as ideology, uh, then you make many wrong decisions. That's how Hitler lost uh, the war uh, is, uh, and made many poor, very good ones, but also very poor ones because he was 
uh, led by ideology uh, much more than his head when he made, for example, uh, decisions during war. Um, and, and so um, I will link that video below. That's interesting to watch. Uh, and, and so the same you do as an investor, uh, you, you believe in, in the mission, but you're not looking at the actual data, uh, how good the coin is doing, how, how adoption is actually really going. Uh, and you just totally ignore that uh, and you're not focused on that on the hard numbers then then uh, well um, then um, you can really uh, go down the drain same with the love partner you see the data like oh is he uh, actually uh, like has he been violent in previous relationships or or, or has she been uh, uh, cheating in previous relationships this is all hard data uh, that you have but then you have your heart saying like yeah but i really do like this person uh, so 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 this is a conflict internal conflict so the the third uh, uh, thing you have is your gut and your gut usually really does um tell you the truth of things mm, it's a good feeling that you have like okay you have a lot of data that's that's mixed and, and your heart telling things but then you have your gut and your gut can you give you the final decision like yes this is the right person Yes, it's going to work out or no, it's it's not going to work out and the same with an investment or a business decision. So, 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 and for me, when it comes to my gut, yes, I really do uh, think Bitcoin Cash will, uh, will do very well, even though it has a lot of um, uh, challenges to overcome and a lot of enemies. Uh, I really think it's going to do very well and it's a, a true opportunity, a second chance for me and for other people that are open to it to get into Bitcoin cheaply, I think. Um, and I think over time uh, it will really do very well. Um, but um, could be wrong, but that's my good feeling. So uh, that's it. I think uh, important to say when you look at the amount of transactions and thanks for sharing and dope forever. Um, she shared this with me and uh, it's very interesting how um, uh, DOPS decentralized applications are really uh, yeah, start to take off some of them uh, and these are running on Ethereum and on EOS and on Tron um, the, 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 these are uh, that, that that's a total different world that I have not addressed in my comparison uh, crypto platforms uh, and it is certainly possible actually they will steal the show in the next bubble uh, and actually will get many more transactions than the simple cryptocurrencies that I've discussed here or human to human transactions uh, who are focused on that uh, compared to um, machine to machine transactions that you will find much more on crypto platforms. Uh, they might actually uh, do a lot better. Um, but uh, that's uh, not of interest to me, but I would certainly understand that uh, it could be of interest to you. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.